Hello all, it's my privilege to welcome each and every one of you to this engaging and thought-provoking talk. I am Ms. Sujita Sairam, a certified life coach and a trainer, alumnus of IIT Madras and co-founder of Transformbox. So I take immense pleasure to welcome you and I'll be the facilitator for today's session. I have with me two other co-facilitators, Mr. Vikram Pore, a certified life coach and co-founder of Transformbox. Welcome, Mr. Vikram. Thank you. Uh, wonderful. And uh, Mrs. Uh, Kavita Kumari, she's a chief mentor and international trainer and also one of the co-founders of Transformbox. Welcome, Kavita, ma'am. Thank you so much. So along yeah. with us, we have our esteemed guest for today's session, Mrs. Sonali Mudaliar, best-selling author, a certified life coach, in specific, parent youth coach, a certified NLP coach, and a mindful practitioner. So welcome, welcome uh, Sonali, ma'am. Thank you very much. Welcome, ma'am. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for joining with us today. So throughout history, talks and discussions have served as powerful catalysts for change. They have sparked revolutions, posted innovations, and shaped the course of civilizations. And that's why it's very important. And today, we have the opportunity to be a part of that ongoing narrative through Transform Talks, an initiative by Transform Box. The main aim of Transform Talks is to contribute our unique perspectives, learn from one another, and make a positive impact in our own sphere of influence. The topic we have gathered here to explore holds immense importance in today's fast-paced fast and interconnected world. It is sex education for youth. The topic is very crucial and it's meant to address the critical gaps in our society's understanding and approach towards sex education. The well-being and healthy development is our collective responsibility to equip them with the knowledge, skills, and values they need to navigate the complexities of their evolving sexuality and relationships. Sex education is not just about the biological mechanics or a list of do's and don'ts. It encompasses a holistic understanding of human sexuality, consent, relationship, and the profound impact these aspects have on our lives. It is about empowering our youth to make informed decisions, fostering healthy attitudes towards their bodies and others, and nurturing a culture of respect, understanding, and inclusivity. So without further delay, let's begin the talk. I have the first question for you, uh, Mrs. Sonali. Why is it important to discuss about sex at home? So what do you think? Please do share your perspectives. Uh, if you ask me, uh, you, when we start talking, discussing uh, about sex at home, you know, you are keeping your channels of communication open and you know that your children can discuss anything with you. So in the event, if they are stuck with something in their lives, they can always go ahead and they know instead of turning to their peers or someone they don't know or turning to internet, they can always trust their parents and talk to them. And they can probably find those uh, answers to their questions and accordingly make those informed decisions. That's what I feel. Wonderful, Solali, ma'am. But I have a question. Uh, you said that uh, it's very important to do it at home. I, I do agree. But during the adolescent phase, usually uh, people have this isolation kind of mindset. They wanted to stay away from parents. So is it wise decision to discuss it at home? Uh, yeah. I know uh, teenagers, they don't want to discuss that. In fact, more than teenagers, they have a lot of questions in their minds. But what happens is just because they realize that parents are not comfortable, that's where they do not want to discuss that. And that's where they come, go into isolation. But if you keep your channels of communication open, then it becomes easy, as I said earlier. See, I'll tell you one thing. Um, I recently spoke with a 21-year-old guy. Okay. So when I was talking to him, he mentioned one thing that whenever there is a condom ad that is playing on the TV, his parents change the channel. Even when he's 21 year old, he has recently started working as uh, into a MNC. But again, uh, see, children notice this, that our parents are not comfortable with this topic. So why would they come to us? So then comes the main part that, as you said, isolation because they don't have anyone to share it with. Okay, Sonali ji. Uh, 
what can be can be done if parents are not comfortable discussing with the uh, child or children what can be done uh vikram ji i went through a similar phase in my life okay uh when my son hit puberty uh i was discussing it with other people like you know other children that i deal with day in and day out so uh when it came to my son i asked my husband to go ahead and talk to him but the point out here is uh, even he wasn't comfortable so he spoke to one of his friends and one of our relatives to talk to him but again this is considered as a taboo topic so no one wants to talk about it so then i thought over this and i i told my husband you know what uh if no one is ready to talk about it how will my son learn i don't want him to go to the internet i don't want him to go to his peers who will have only that amount of knowledge as their age because if you check internet sex is highly overrated so in such a scenario how will they get you know valuable and uh, some uh, evidence based information which they can easily rely on and parents are the best people to talk about it but in the event if that doesn't happen you can always uh, reach out to people who can teach that like in my case i run a, a workshop the na named as the taboo topic workshop the ttt workshop wherein i do one to one coaching with teenagers and i go through every possible thing that you know when these children hit puberty may it be let it be a boy or a girl i take them through the entire thing the uh, like you know the points uh, like the unwanted pregnancy the consent stds hiv everything sexting okay pornography i uh, you know how to uh, take care to get rid of those unwanted pregnancies the poxo act everything in detail it is a 3 hour long workshop that i conduct for teenagers and till now i have got very good results so that is an alternative if like in my scenario my husband wasn't comfortable but i spoke to my son and gave him the sex education that was required but my experience was always like i started having a heart to heart communication with my son he can always come to me talking about his like if he likes a girl he can definitely talk to me i'm okay with the fact that even if he wants to go out on a date frankly speaking but at least in my absence i know he can take those informed decisions yeah right yes i think that sex education workshop can help and benefit parent and as well as youth also okay um um i'll give an example uh, like uh, you know um i about like two teenagers one of them uh, was you know switching boyfriends she was a 14 year old and she was switching boyfriends and uh, when i started with her actually she came to me for the coaching and counseling thing so when i started off her session by the i think fourth or the fifth session i realized she is switching boyfriends because she has that need of love she is feeling ignored at home so uh, during the sessions when i started diving deep into it i realized that her younger sister was born with a medical condition and parents were always uh, busy putting together the finances and the medical thing into the treatment and everything together so they were under a lot of pressure but when parents caught my client red handed they told her that they will not give her the mobile and everything she was chatting and actually it was sexting okay so when they uh, forced her not to use a mobile and everything so this girl try to cut her veins she try to commit suicide and that's how she came to me so uh, when i started deep diving i had the uh, realized that she has that unattended like you know uh, that you know she's feeling unloved at home so then throughout the coaching sessions i also spoke to her parents and uh, today when they look back at that situation uh, again during my coaching i also included the taboo topic workshop because i also had to um, tackle the issue of you know she switching boyfriends every single month okay so uh, because her uh, mom was like more worried about the fact what if my girl gets pregnant 
she's hardly 14 she is not comfortable discussing that her father was something who was pretty strict the girl loved to dance but she was not allowed to dance and she always felt the parents are giving undivided attention or a lot of attention to her younger sister mm. so throughout the session i just made her understand about the pros and the cons and what all things and now it's like almost like one and a half year uh, but uh, still till date her parents have never found her into any relationship now they have an open conversation now what is ha also happening is she is putting chipping in whatever she can to help the family not monetarily but being emotionally and physically present so that's how like you as i started with the conversation when i said it opens your channel of communication you have a better understanding you can pour your heart out to the other person and so can the other person be okay, okay. ma'am can you please just add a add a little more about uh, why what is preventing parents to discuss it at home so can you just enlighten us about the constraints which parents are facing okay uh, actually you know uh, not exactly constraints sex is such a topic that um, you know it was always a taboo topic and people are scared to discuss that even behind closed doors okay uh, we all know about the 69 position in kama sutra right hmm. okay i uh, we look at it from the sex perspective but i look at it from um, the playing cards perspective like if i hold a card that is a six in front of you you will look at you will say oh it's a nine and i'll say it's a six hmm. correct so most of the times what happens is like the perspectives matter not all parents are that broad minded to go ahead and uh, uh, help that child to go ahead and uh, get this information they feel if a lot of information is provided they will go out of our hands in simpler words but i feel say uh, tomorrow tomorrow if you realize that if your son uh, doesn't uh, you know is or your child is like uh, scared to speak on the stage what do you do as parents we go ahead and get them to join a public speaking course right Mm. why yep. we want to give them a life skill so sex education is also that life skill think about a day your son would come to you and tell you or probably the his girlfriend would come to you and uh, tell you like uh, the filmy scene main tumhare bacche ki maa banne wali hu <laughs> what will you do right what will you do in such a scenario parents go into that shock but if they know because see parents can't be everywhere and i always believe in the weakest moments your destiny is decided you either make it or you break it so i want every child to have take those informed decisions and that's why it's very important for the youth to be empowered with the right amount of sex education you visit any sex education classes i'll tell you you know uh, check any biology teacher when they have to teach you human anatomy they are themselves not comfortable with it what they do is like okay ha huh, this is the reproduction system this is how it is don't ask me any questions mm. yeah this happens yeah. i have i i have experienced that yes. and yeah. when you know ha huh, and when you go here and talk to uh, they when you try to talk to these uh, kids they feel ashamed but if you give them an open and friendly environment they will start start sharing it to you you know so many things that you will not even believe uh you will not uh, as i started the conversation with this uh, 21 year old boy he asked me this question ma how many times can we masturbate what is safe a 21 year old boy had this question so imagine the plight of a 13 year old child let it be a girl or a boy so they have so many questions and they don't know who to talk to yeah. 
but someone has to do it, right? Yeah. Sonali, can you uh, elaborate more on the course or uh, the workshop you conduct? So what is the eligibility criteria or uh, any age criteria is there or parents can attend, uh, children can attend? Can you just more uh, put more light on that? Uh, and, uh, you how, what? and how to contact you for this? Okay. Uh, you, uh, I conduct this, uh, the taboo topic workshop and uh, generally... I always encourage the parents to gift this three-hour workshop to their children. Okay. And this uh, workshop can be attended by anyone like from 11 to 25. Okay. 11 to 25. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, in this workshop, if uh, like generally I don't make those divisions like this is a boy and this is a girl. I feel sex education, when it is provided, you have to provide sex education from the perspective from a boy and a girl as well because i have also realized you know um i was le recently doing a taboo topic workshop for a child uh, whose mother is a doctor okay oh. and uh, the pr she, the problem was she's a single parent but uh, and she didn't have any guy to go ahead and take him through like she said i see him getting erections but i'm uncomfortable talk discussing it with him but in the growing up years, erections and nightfalls are completely normal. If you're masturbating once or twice in a week, uh, sorry, once or twice in a month, it's normal. But if you're doing it two to three times in a day, then there is a problem. So in this workshop, I talk about when puberty hits, what are the biological changes? What are the emotional changes you go through? Okay. If you're a boy, how can you take care of the girl? not necessarily your girlfriend it can be your sister it can be your mom anyone in your family in your auntie when they are going through periods as a boy what can you do to help them okay when you are a girl though you know i have also met uh girls who at the age of 10 they have boyfriends oh. okay at the age of 10 they are into a relationship so my advice is i will not ask them to go ahead and stop it or to take it forward but i always tell them you know, it's very important to make sure that first you are uh, get your degrees in place, be independent, and then jump into a relationship. But what to do till then? That's the time you go, uh, you know, we have that hormonal rush and we have those uh, things that, you know, I need to have a boyfriend, I need to have a girlfriend. At times it's peer pressure and at times it's just infatuation. But when you do go ahead and do that, what are the pros and the cons? Because pa if parents are not open-minded, then there is a problem that arises. And these people, um, you know, uh, like uh, if it is a girl, they restrict everything. If it is a boy, they get the restrictions only for a week's time. Literally, the girls are grounded. And I've seen it. Then if in the event they get into a physical relationship in the weakest moment, and they go have to go through the uh, the girl gets pregnant. Then what? Okay. Either uh, we have also seen so many crimes happening wherein these girls go through uh, a gang rape. The boyfriend takes her and they go through a gang rape and everything. So I feel all of these can, if the information is provided, they can take those informed decisions, what is right and wrong. Because these days, Kids don't listen to us. They feel they know more than us. And that happens in every generation. If you look at our lives, we were also being, doing the same thing. Yeah. Right. right. Mm -hmm. So this is how I do it. Uh, and there are various other topics that I also uh, fin take up into this. Like, as I said, sexting and everything, like everything into it. But uh, in the event, if you have to contact me, you can always reach out to me on my social media handles. And I conduct these workshops once in a month. Great. What are the expected outcomes, ma'am? So can you just tell me like the benefits of actually taking up these classes? So what is like the outcome which you are promising or something like that? Can you add? Um, see the... Um, Outcomes will definitely vary from person to person, but uh, in my past That's experience, why I said expected my, outcomes. Uh, expected outcome, right? 
so but uh the expected outcome is uh, like i said that the doctor who gifted his uh, son with that workshop she said their communication was improved one and he said and the boy said the explanation was to the point and he had so many questions and he didn't know whom to ask those were answered um the when i spoke to the girl, you know the other kids they all said like you know many times uh, out of peer pressure they do something and you know these people they don't know exactly what could be the disadvantage of doing something but they just want to you know uh, try to grow up early that's why they try to do it actually like i was talking to vikram ji the other day i was talking to a student of mine and uh, he said uh, you know what um we guys we were like i was uh, standing with a group of guys actually they said you know uh, he was telling me one of them was telling the other guy you know i must wait for 21 minutes and i found it very funny i found it very funny so you know with the right information you know that will not happen so the other guys who said that they cannot do it for that much time they will try to do it and eventually they're going to land up into addiction and i feel you know that can change uh, the workshop can also change your perspective the way you look at women yeah. i cannot promise anything but i can probably tell you i can help you to go ahead and uh, reduce those unwanted pregnancies number 1 okay you can help uh, get rid of those abortion cases you can take precautionary measures otherwise if we do not stop it probably india would be the an another usa in the next 7 to 8 years with we when where we have lot of girls who would be pregnant before the age of 18 they haven't even seen their lives probably this can also help me go ahead and um, reduce the amount of uh, possibly the rape or the suicide attempts yeah possibly we can also empower our kids like you know i always tell um, um, you know all these kids that i deal with i said you know uh, break up hona bahut zaruri hai dil tootna zaruri hai ठीक है, I am not asking you to become a Devdas, but I am always telling them, you know, a breakup gives more strength to you. It builds that resilience. You know how to tackle the liar, you know, the challenges that life throws at us. That's what I believe in. So I say, okay, get. I I'm okay with the fact, like, if you have a girlfriend, you have a crush, also, I'm completely okay with it. But breakup होना है बहुत जरूरी है. वरना पता नहीं चलता है हम जिंदा है सी वेन आई सी इट ब्रेकअप यू ऑलवेज लुक एट इट फ्रॉम अ लव पॉइंट ऑफ यू अ ब्रेकअप कैन बी एनी थिंग फ्रेंकली स्पीकिंग इन माई परस्पेक्टिव लाइक इफ यू वॉन्ट टू अचीव गुड मार्क्स एंड यू आर नॉट एबल टू अचीव दैट यू टर्म इट एज अ फेलियर बट आई टर्म इट एज अ ब्रेकअप ओके सो आई मीन Uh, ha if you like a girl and she rejects you because she has her own perspective like you know about understanding about what kind of a guy she wants so again uh, that can be a breakup dil tod gaya see anything in life that we want and we kid are not able to achieve we fail that's when dil tod gaya yes but you know uh, i always say when you have that one sided love for anyone and when that person doesn't accept your love that's when uh jab hi dil tootta hai na you start uh giving priority to yourself you start on the path of self discovery mm -hmm. you start knowing your true potential that when such kind of hardships come into your life how are you going to handle them mm -hmm. isliye dil tootna zaruri hai so so nale ma'am so we uh, we try to understand the perspective of a parent in uh, sex education we spoke about the issues which can uh, come up we spoke about the benefits now i would like to like understand the holistic meaning of sex education so what all are included in it and what are all is not included in it so if that clarity is there i think it would be beneficial for everyone 
see, according to me, sex education starts from the point that, uh, you know, when we were kids, if you ask uh, your parents, how was I born? Okay. They'll say, Mandir se utha ke leke aaya. Hmm. Yaad aaya? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But by the time we reach 7th and 8th standard, we know, okay, this is how we were born. Okay. But still, now we have uh, the cesarean, the C-section happening. But if it is a vaginal birth, then what? Okay. So I'm not, uh, when I'm talking about sex education, I'm not going ahead and trying to tell you this is how you should have sex. Or this is how you should be having an intercourse. What I'm trying to tell you is I personally go ahead and work only with kids. Okay. Because of that, um, I have also, um, if you notice, uh, I remember, I don't remember if it is uh, Ranbir Kapoor or Ranbir Singh. But you know, in one of the Coffee with Karan episode, he mentioned uh, that he had sex at the tender age of 13. Yeah, he was if a- you had... Ranbir. I'm sorry. Yeah, he was Ranbir Kapoor, I think. So he mentioned that. I, I, I don't remember who, but he said that. Okay. But then, boss, they have that power. Probably if there is any problem that comes up, they can go ahead and tackle that. As I said, if you're, I have my son and tomorrow I have a girl standing on my door and she says, Main tumhari bacche ki maa banne wali. what will we do? And sex is not only about just an intercourse. It is also being emotionally involved with a person when we are talking as adults. We are also talking about consent. Okay. Um, I have also, um, I was recently uh, watching another web series last night. I slept at three and that's why I couldn't respond to Vikram's message in the morning. I was watching Kafas on Sony Lib. That topic talks about a boy being sexually exploited okay so even boys can be sexually exploited so how do we avoid that in the taboo topic workshop i also talk about you know uh, i have uh, i read a month back i visited a government office uh, for some work and there was a peon who would be who was standing out there and that guy was scratching his groin I have seen many men do that in public. But have you ever seen a woman do that? If not, then they have to be taught, right? Mm. Yep. So sex education talks about what is a safe uh, a safe touch? What is a bad touch? Even if you have a boyfriend and if a boyfriend is inviting you to his house, so there could be some other guys who would be waiting at his house or his friend's house. You can be gang raped. Even if you are going ahead and booking a hotel room for an hour to go ahead and have that sex, your video can be uploaded on social media. Mm. In the event, you are actually physically, uh, you know, getting physically intimate with your guy or a girl. What can be the consequences? That would be an eye opener. If you ask me, that is the correct way of providing sex education to today's youth. So they can be empowered to go ahead and take the correct decisions. Because after all, as parents, we all want our children to be safe. We, I don't want my son to be, uh, he's a minor right now. And I don't want my son or another girl to go ahead and tell them, okay, he tried to attempt a rape on my, uh, my daughter. Or the girl coming to my door and saying, okay, I'm pregnant with this child. See, we cannot stop. You have to understand this. As parents, we cannot stop the infatuation, the uh, attraction that they are going through because of the hormonal rush that they have. But we can channelize it. We can empower them wherein they can take proper, correct decisions. So their future is not affected. For me, that is a holistic definition of providing sex education. Yeah, good. Wonderful, Chandalima. Great. Okay, so uh, it was a wonderful and wonderful conversation uh, with Sonali, ma'am. And uh, the topic was itself a very valuable topic because this is a topic which is, you know, uh, the situation is going on at every home, but everyone is just avoiding it. Yes, we all have right. experienced 
in our life. And we are also in the, in that state if I am a parent. I know that uh, after few years, my daughter will be a teenager. My daughter will grow up. So I also used to think a lot of time that how I will educate my daughter about this concept. So I got a lot of insights from these sessions and uh, I felt, okay, yes, uh, I have to take this step. I have to make my daughter comfortable. And at, for every parent, they, uh, they have to make uh, their home a comfortable place so that they can talk openly with their kids, like what is the things is all about sex education, right? So from overall conversation and from all the talks, uh, I have concluded some point uh, that uh, we have got from this session. First of all is we should give an open environment and an open space at home for child and parent both. So that not from uh, from starting time only. Suppose in a, in any home, from starting time, if the parents are strict with the child, then suddenly it is not possible to you know open up with child and talk to this uh, topic. It is very difficult. So what we should uh, uh, learn from this conversation? What I have learned that from the beginning only we have to make the uh, you know environment of home so friendly. At least that parent and child should come to each other and they are comfortable to talk regarding any topic. Yeah, so this will help child and parent both that when it comes to the time of uh, uh, talking about this sex education or changes in, uh, you know, uh, physical hormones at some stage of, uh, you know, life or ages, then they should, both parties should feel comfortable and talk to each other what to do and what not to do. Second, I would like to add up something. Yeah. If you don't mind. Okay. Sure. In the event, if your home environment is strict. Okay. Yes. So I can understand directly talking about such topics will not, will not make neither the parents or the kid comfortable. In Definitely. such a scenario, that's where my, uh, the workshop, the taboo topic workshop comes into picture because that starts as bridging the gap between the parent and the child. And that's when it can help opening up about other topics as well. Yes. So this would be a game changer for, for such families which have a strict environment. Definitely. Yes, definitely, ma'am. And second, what I have observed from the whole conversation is that parents should take the responsibility to take initiative to make child comfortable to discuss about knowledge regarding sex education. So that a child, uh, when they will reach to the age of poverty or teenage, they will also feel that, yes, I have a home, I have a parents, and I can go and ask my all the query what I'm going through at, you know, physical changes at some age. Another Absolutely. point is knowledge is very important at right time and right age. Sharing knowledge Absolutely. regarding sex education is very important at the right time and right age. And that initiative should begin with home only so that uh, the child will not go out to, you know, find the solution. Like many things are happening uh, when we reach to the age of teenage, like 13, 14, 15, 21, so a lot of things happens in our like hormone change happens, our emotions changes, a lot of uh, things are we are facing as a girls, as a uh, like male and female, both we are facing the physical changes. So that right education, we need that time. So people go to internet, people go to Google, people go to friend where they feel comfortable. Yes, and they try to find out the answer. So uh, we should make a home environment in such a way that we get the right knowledge at right time. Second. Sex education is also very important to create awareness among child and parents both because it is the only way by which we can stop unusual suicides, some rape cases and the pregnancy cases, which is, uh, you know, rising so much high nowadays uh, because of this unhealthy relationship, because of uh, this unhealthy activities that the youngsters are taking nowadays in, you know, in at the age of a uh, young age. So due to that, these all things are happening. Depressions are happening. Frustrations are happening. This uh, uh, unplanned pregnancies are happening just because the people are not aware of this uh, knowledge regarding sex, like what to do, when to do, and what is the right time, right the situation. So due to this, these things are happening. So awareness, creating awareness is very important. And for that, uh, as Sonali ma'am said, that she is creating workshop and all. So these kind of workshops should be done at a lot of places, especially in villages and all. 
so the still if we go in villages people are totally split at this position and this topic so creating awareness is very important what ma'am said also sex education is very important to live a healthy life a lifestyle definitely it's not just about you know having a knowledge of sex and that only comes when uh, you know people get younger or they get into the marriage it is also important throughout the lifetime so that uh, people get the healthy lifestyle because as ma'am said that it said uh, she shared a lot of story about youngster 10 year old people 14 year old people they even don't uh, you know grew up but they are having different kind of things related to this and they are taking some uh, some wrong steps also in their life so it is also very important so that people can live a healthy lifestyle and sex education is also important because it's all about giving a right education of physical change most uh, priority if we talk it's all about physical change and that starts from the age of you know when we uh, enter into the age of teenager like 13 14 15 from that time only we start getting the uh, physical change hormonal change uh, change body change lot of things happens in male also and female so from that time only we need to educate people parents should educate child everyone we should uh, help each other so that they can have a right steps to take when it comes in the term of sex education so that in uh, future they should not uh, you know they should not face any difficulties in life when it comes in terms of uh, pregnancy or unusual death suicide depression breakups lot of things just ma'am shared so all these insights i got from the whole one hour of conversation so thank you so much sonali ji you have shared wonderful wonderful like knowledge with all of us since uh, like two of us we are the parents and someone is here youngster so this uh, this like uh, points are you know um, it is for everyone us yeah this is for every one of us uh, because we all are human and we all are dealing these things on daily basis right so having a right education and to creating the awareness of right education is what is our like duty so thank you so much Absolutely. for you know joining us and sharing this wonderful wonderful knowledge with a very uh, like um, good topic i can say it's a wonderful topic to talk much about so uh, yeah i think we are lacking of time otherwise we can have lot of more discussion also and maybe in future i will definitely join your workshop because as a parent i also want to understand this concept in depth like how to do all these things yeah so thank you so much yeah. from the team of transform box thank, thank you sonali ji thank you thank you um uh, i would like to uh, like, you know say thank you to everyone to go ahead and give me this platform you know where i could share my point of view about uh, my workshop the taboo topic where i can help the you to be empowered uh as i told vikram ji earlier most of the people are not comfortable discussing it and it was definitely a bold step from you guys and hats off to your entire team for that thank you, thank you very much